All right. First, we are going to learn more about tsunami. This is a term you are familiar with because of the tsunami what happened in Sumatra a few years back. Tsunami, the word, actually means harbor waves. This is just a harbor wave. That's a literal meaning of tsunami. What we are referring to tsunami is large waves which hits uh, the shore and uh, make a huge damage. Why tsunamis are happening? I know, you, many of you know. Can anybody tell me how tsunami is happening? It's DK, you should know about it. All right, I think some of you are giving half answers. Tsunami generally happens because of an earthquake. Earthquake could be um, two uh, tectonic plates have hitting together, one sliding up and one sliding down, or it hits and makes a, a small mountain. It happens, all earthquakes, it's the same. So when an earthquake happens under the seawater, on the sea floor, uh, the, um, it will send waves up to the water flow. So the sea floor will have small waves. Wavelength will be wider, the height of the waves will be lower in deep water. But when it approaches the, the land or the shore, as the depth of the water resides, the wavelengths will shorten. As, as a fact, then the height of the waves will increase. So, it, as it approaches the shore, the wavelength, wave height will be higher, wavelength will be shorter. These waves can go up to 50 meters in height. You imagine that one floor of a building generally is approximately 10 meters. So 50 meters is something like a five-story building high. A wave can hit up to that height. It's also said that waves can get up to the speed of 50 kilometers per hour. So it is not slow. It is coming fast as a normal car. We are, we are riding it at 50, 60 kilometers. That's the speed of a wave. It can be up to that speed. Depends upon how big an earthquake happened and how far away from the shore it happened. Anyway, this is why tsunamis are happening. An earthquake under the water and it makes waves and waves as they approach uh, to the shore since the flow, the depth is uh, low, waves will be high and will hit the harbor area and it will destroy everything on its path. Strength of water and waves are far bigger than what we think. You can see in the video which I have just shown uh, the destruction of a, of a tsunami. So now we know why tsunami is happening and what is a tsunami. And we know basic facts about um, a tsunami. The destruction is caused by water, the strength of water. Now, there are three things what we need to learn here. All right, what to do before tsunami? It's not just when you listen about tsunami. If you are going to a new place, or even if at your current place where your home is situated, think about it. Is it a tsunami zone? A tsunami risky zone. Are you too close to water bodies, um, to the harbor, or any river which is directly connected with the with the sea? Then you could be in a tsunami zone. Plus, see how um, far is your home from the water body, especially if it is sea. How far is it um, from the sea? Or if it is a place you are going to visit. You need to know how far is the hotel or, or the room you are staying is away from um, a water body, a sea. Also the height of the terrain, the land from the sea level. Um, minimum it should be a 3 meter height, a 10 feet. So that a normal wave, normal small tsunami wave cannot hit you. A bigger one will will cover you for sure if it is just uh, 3 feet, at least 10 feet or 3 meter. But this is a normal thing you have to think. You cannot stay in any sea surface. Second is your preparedness. Third is your practice. And these can 
actually make a difference. So the awareness part is whether I am in a risky zone. You make a proper, proper evaluation of it. In the last um, class, I will explain how you can prepare an emergency evacuation plan, emergency plan, emergency evaluation, etc. But remember this one. First, you need to know whether it is a risky zone. Second, you need to be prepared if it is a risky zone. Third, you need to have proper plan to uh, escape. Fourth, it should be practiced. This is basic emergency uh, disaster management. As a community is aware of it, a community is prepared for it, the damages and the risk can be limited. This is the first part. Next part will be what to do during a tsunami. That I will explain in the next one, next video.